clicking the dreaded D Rose report. Hey, some of you hotline people may be on this watching it because I think the hotline was hacked by the Russians. So something happened. I think there was a lot of uh, storming going on uh, wherever the place is located at. Hope to have it up and running soon. But yeah, I'm limited to four minutes here on the, the hotline. Hey, I'm endless on this. But I ain't going to take that. take up that much of your time. All right, let's get with some news. Uh, Note before that there's plans for the WWE NXT to begin rating for the upcoming brand extension that begins uh, when SmackDown goes live next month. And Brian Alvarez noted that on Wrestling Observer Live that uh, while there's plans that are changing, of course, there are more than six names scheduled to be brought up from NXT to the WWE draft. If you hear anybody barking, that's Max people out there swimming in the pool. He's, I'm about ready to go. Uh, anyway, while he's uh, considered a possibility uh, stand-up comedy career, Damien Sandow says he's not calling it a career change and will continue to wrestle. Mimicking other people. But anyway, WWE officials uh, really wanted top international star Will Ospreay uh, for, uh, never heard of him, <clears throat> WWE Cruiserweight Classic that uh, begins later this month. But his two-year New Japan Pro Wrestling contract prevents him from, uh, you know, being in, in part of it. And there was talk over the past few weeks, WWE still trying to sign him, possibly trying to work through NJ, you know, PW to make it happen. Yeah, they can loan wrestlers out. International wrestler Big Damo and Norm Dar are expected to join Tommy End and Moose at the September WWE Performance Center tryouts, uh, if they get past their medicals, that is. They ought to try the mentals, too, huh? Like Chris Benoit. Anyway, Dar is already confirmed for the WWE uh, CWC uh, this summer, and WWE continues to be aggressive on talent acquisitions, and several WWE NXT talent are expected to be called up for the brand extension, and officials want to experiment. Uh, they experimented wrestlers who uh, uh, they can use on tour as opposed to the original idea of using the Performance Center to take athletes and teach them to be pro wrestlers. So they want to experience wrestlers a little bit. Not bad. All right, and uh, NXT superstar, it was a Zim Salmany, something like that, turns 22 years old today. Just the mere child. Didn't or uh, Orton start out at 22? I can't remember. I think he did. Maybe 20. ECW original Sandman turns 53 years old today, and it's been the 57th birthday of wrestling legend. The uh, Ultimate Warrior would have been 57 today. WWE taped the following matches for tonight's SmackDown. And by the way, since Dan can't give you the spoilers for SmackDown, old dad's going to do it. The highlight reel opens SmackDown. Chris Jericho brings uh, out the guest, Dean Ambrose. They're interrupted by Kevin Owens, then Alberto Del Rio, and then Cesaro. Then finally, Sami Zayn comes out, and it all sets up now for a six-man tag match. Kofi Kingston defeats uh, Aiden English, Luke Gallows, and Big Kaz in a four-way. Uh, backstage segment with Becky Lynch, Natalya, Dana Brooks, and the women's champion Charlotte to hype the tag match for Money in the Bank. Byron, uh, Baron Corbin oh, I keep saying, defeats Zack Ryder with Dolph Ziggler on commentary. After the match, Corbin uh, stares at Ziggler from the announce table. That was it. WWE uh, U.S. Champion Rusev defeats Callisto, and Sin Cara tries to stop a post-match beatdown, but got, got the accolade. Uh, then uh, Titus O'Neil made the save, brawls with Rusev, who then retreats with his lovely woman. Backstage segment uh, with the club and WWE NXT Champions New Day sets up for a Styles versus Xavier Woods match. AJ, uh, AJ Styles defeats Woods by submission, by the way. WWE Women's Champion Charlotte defeats Natalya in a non-title match. Brooke uh, and Lynch at ringside. They scuffle you know, before the finish, by the way. Uh, they also brought ladders back out and aired a Money in the Bank preview. 
and uh, Dean Ambrose, Cesaro, Sami Zayn defeats Kevin Owens, Jericho, Del Rio in the main event. Del Rio tags in Owens back up. Uh, t tags Owens back, but Owens super kicks him. Owens then super kicks Jericho, and uh, Ambrose hits the dirty deed on Owens for the win. Ambrose celebrates to end the SmackDown. Who needs to watch it now, huh? Anyway, Connor. Connor, remember Connor, the Ascension? Anyway, his wellness policy suspensions ends tomorrow, so he could be back in action for the weekend's live events anyway. And noted uh, singer Chris Warren, who did the best song I think WWE's ever done is the DX theme song, and several other WWE themes over the years passed away at the age of 49 years old on Sunday. Triple H tweeted, uh, uh, you know, of course, the message about his passing and stuff. And it was revealed that John Cena, Ultimate Warrior, Sasha Banks are confirmed for the WWE 2K17. Uh, but anyway, a little bit more. I had that in between there. The man with the infamous uh, Break It Down theme song from the Attitude Era, like I said, passed away, uh, Chris Warren. Warren went on to do several WWE theme songs, including Triple H's My Time theme, uh, performed live at WrestleMania 14, and did some songs for TNA, too. Now, his... Uh, it don't really say. It's got his obituary in here. In here. Uh, he was born in Huntington, Long Island, Cal uh, New York, uh, 1967. Um, says he was a singer and a steam fitter for many years. Uh, music was his passion and all this stuff. And uh, he's survived by his mother, Barbara Spector, and three brothers. And let's see, many nieces and nephews and uncles and cousins. Doesn't say he was married, though. Christopher was very liked, they said, mi uh, missed by all that knew him. Okay, by the way, a mass at Christian burial will be held 10, 10 o'clock a.m. on Saturday, June 18th, St. Anne's Church, Jefferson Avenue, um, New York, uh, Nike, New York. And uh, Barrow will be at Gate of Heaven Cemetery, Hawthorne, uh, New York. Uh, in case you live out that way in New York. Thanks for clicking, you guys. Hope we get the hotline up quick. I gotta go.